Zeit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Yeah, there it is. Deanna Trump, <laughs> welcome up? to Drinking Bros. What's up? How are you? I'm okay. This is very random for me. You're you're okay. You look, you're on fire right now. Am I? It's the outfit, I think. Nah, I think it's more than the outfit. We're we're in Los Angeles, California. There's been some heat, Tiana. There's been some heat on you. There has. Yes. Wait, what are we talking about? You've been trending on Twitter. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what for? Lance Stevenson? Oh my God! Yes, sorry. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Did, wow. did you look at your nails? I if you want, I can look. Like, at, I can look at my watch. Oh we, my God. I can pretend you that we don't that? know. Everybody's seen that, Tiana. Everybody's seen that. The funny thing is, it's not even that big a deal. No, it's. But I don't think it's a big deal either. Everybody's I don't either. freaking the fuck out, dude. Well, so like, like let's, let's, illegal happen, let's right? explain it to the audience. So we're in Los Angeles. Lance Stevenson is uh, one of the point guards for the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah. Recently, it came out that he may or may not have had sex with you when you were 16 years old, which in the state of Indiana, I believe is legal. Yes or no? Yeah. It is. It, it absolutely is. Yeah. So what was your feelings on that? Because there, there was an interview you did on the jump. Yeah. That people were like, yo, what the fuck? This is crazy. What's, what's, your, what's your general feelings on that? Um, I feel like people jump to conclusion way too quick. Like I was 16. Who, who gives a fuck who I have sex with? Like. It's age of consent, so yeah. I'm good to go. Yeah. And I wanted to do it. So, like, who who gives a fuck? But whoever said I had sex with Lance? Nobody did. Did you always know you wanted to go into porn? Because, you're, you're, look, you're one of the best in the business right now. No, I didn't know I wanted to go into porn. It was like dudes, like, turned me out. In high school, junior year, I had a threesome. Who has a threesome? Junior year of high school, not a lot of people. That was my first one. My second one was actually like a gangbang type of shit how, how many people so how many people is a gangbang what would you classify that as i would seven say like I, I would say four plus four plus okay yeah so that, that that's a big table at olive garden like if you get a table for five you still gotta wait like that's hey a, we gotta a, set this that's a lot yeah. of breadsticks too. oh yeah yeah it's that it's endless for a reason dan <laughs> no, it's, it's endless of, for a reason because of the gangbangs right <laughs> but four plus like here's the thing if you're into it who gives a shit right that's what i'm saying yeah i don't understand it i don't either where did you grow up in, in, in Indiana? Columbus, Indiana. Really? Boring as fuck. Yeah, it is You don't even know where that is. I do. So I went to Ohio State. Um, we used to play various teams in Indiana, University of Indiana, all that other shit, Butler, you name it. So I feel like I've been throughout that state. Did you play IU, like the Hoosiers? Oh, yeah. Okay, then you know where I'm at. Yeah, I know exactly where you're at. Okay. That's a small town. Yeah. So as a, as a small town girl, was that part of it? Was that part of the allure of like, hey, yeah. I'm doing something that everybody else in this town would definitely frown upon. Yeah. And I want to get the fuck out of here and do this. Well, I would go to like random ass colleges and have sex. Like my dad, here's the thing. My dad glorified when I had sex with athletes, like college athletes. So right. like that's what I feel like made me like, not necessarily get into porn, but it like, I don't know. It just like made me want to keep fucking athletes and like just keep, and keep yeah. them coming. Like I had 80 something partners my senior year of high school, but that wasn't a big deal of me. Like, I thought it was like, normal were you the only one that knew no i told everybody i had a burn book i had a whole book where like everyone i had sex with i wrote it down in order wrote a, like a description next to it like was it worth it was it big did he fuck me good like all that stuff yeah and i would let everybody read it it's no high shit. school people could talk on this that went to school with me i swear to god yes <laughs> We're going to go Ugh. back to your hometown and interview all these fucking people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, but like, because I, I look at you now, right? Yeah. I'm married, so I, I can say shit like this, and it's fine. Like, I'm not hitting on you. You're a gorgeous girl. I, I can imagine in high school, like, you had to have been the hottest girl in Columbus, Indiana, knowing that town. I was a bad bitch. <laughs> I think I look better than I did now. I had big ass titties. I don't know. I feel like I was overly developed for, like, a 16-year-old, 17-year-old, all that. Like, I yeah. looked really good. I, tr I tricked everybody. And how, how did your father encourage you? Like, did he know you were fucking athletes? Yes. He would be like, oh, you're having sex with so-and-so? Really? And just be like, really? And that would that was like how me and him like... Bonded. Literally. So yeah. I kept doing it. Now it's not a big deal to me because I feel like I've been doing it for so long. Like, I'm like, 
who is it? Okay, like, it's not that big of a deal, but... Yeah, are you even impressed by it anymore? We are just like, yo, I've been doing it for so long, like, fuck. Not, I don't... not any athletes, no. Yeah. So who now is impressive? Like, we would... It, I don't know. Hypothetical. Let's say Jeff Bezos. Don't would that be that impressive is. of, like, you know, the president of Amazon where you're like, I'm fucking the head oh. of Amazon. Would that be impressive? That would be impressive. Facebook dude would be inf- impressive. Donald Trump would be impressive. Are you pro-Trump? No, but I would fuck him. Bango. Boom. You know Dan's first. looking right in the camera. Here's the thing about fucking Donald Trump. You don't even have to change your last name. Like, you're good. You know what I'm, like, what I'm saying? Like, legally, you don't have to change your license. <laughs> it's Tiana Trump. You're good to go. So, yeah, I, look, I get the Trump fascination. A lot of people don't. But, like, if you look at Melania and, and, and all of them, like, that's a powerful motherfucker. And, like, women like that. To walk into a room and be with a powerful motherfucker and know that you're the one sucking his dick at the end of the night. Yeah. So who's the most powerful dude you had sex with? Because I, I read somewhere that you recently just said you had somebody with, with a top five NBA. That wouldn't be the, the most M- impressive. It w- no shit. Mm-mm. I couldn't name him because I would literally get sued because he's super, super mega, mega rich. But it, it's like a politician. And he has his own like, whoa, I shouldn't say that because that's who they would no, totally get. No, it's fine. Do you have to <laughs> sign an NDA? No. Then he can't sue you, so yeah. So he fine. can't sue you. Oh, who are yeah. we talking about? Like Cory Booker or somebody like that? No. Bigger? Hillary Clinton. Is it a president, former or? No. It's not. It's someone that's on like a has his own show for like politics. I think that's what it is. Chuck Todd. No, and I'm Sleepy you're Chuck gonna Todd? guess it, so I'm not. Gonna... Ben Shapiro. I don't no! think that I'll guess it. You're Hannity. so close. I just feel is like it Sean coming. Hannity? I'm not saying who it is. White or black? White. Sean White. Hannity. <laughs> It's got to be Hannity. It's Hannity, yeah. It's got to be Hannity. Who'd you say? Who's your guest, Dave? Uh, no, Stephen no. Crowder. I don't think he's no big one. enough. No, Because she, I'm going to be real. And, and my, <sighs> like, that, this is the best pussy you can get. So I, I think your pussy's too good for Stephen Crowder. It's got to be somebody bigger. It's got to be. What if this person isn't, isn't big, but I just think they're big? I swear, I think, I'm pretty sure they're huge. But I don't know. I, I, so, all right. So as, as, as big as it'll get right now, we got Tucker Carlson. Uh, uh, she's gonna whisper it to Dan. Don't say it. Hear you. Dan's dad, like Dan's been Is shot at in war. He's deaf yeah. as fuck. But see, you guys, ne- you never came anywhere close to the. You're not gonna guess. No. But is it big? Yes. Come on. Big. We got it. We there, there are zero people who will fucking not recognize this name. We, we got to. I'm not. We, like it's fine. If you didn't sign an NDA, it doesn't really matter. You can't get sued for it. Yeah, but then they're, none of the politicians are going to want to fuck me. No, they will. Because only because nobody wants to feel in, yeah, underneath yeah. you. So, like, they don't want to feel underneath them. Who's the, who's the, can we say the politician? No! I'm not going to tell you. She just, she doesn't want to. He's huge. Is he? Isn't he? I think that's a huge I, person. Dan, Here's the deal. I'm going to be real. You should say it because there's literally nothing he can do. I promise you. Legally, there's nothing there's you can nothing do. There's nothing you yeah. can do. Yeah. If you didn't sign an yeah, NDA, you then you're fine. Prior to today? Just promise. There's no fucking way. What's he going to do? What about my rep, guys? Your no, rep? Your rep is fine. It'll actually go through the roof. You just said you fucked 80 dudes in your junior year of high school. Yeah. Look, so look Stormy Daniels rocketed with Trump, and he was president. Like, she was good. <laughs> Dan, you got a... Who do we got? Go ahead and say it. For real. It's, it's fine. I promise you. It's fine. Yeah, who, who do we got? You guys are all looking at me like... Dead serious. I'm so scared to say his name. You shouldn't be. I'm scared of him. No, he's a nice guy. No, he's not. He is. Listen, let me just tell the story first before I tell it. Tell the story first. Okay, so this is how I got hooked up with him. Some like okay. porn star had hit me up. Apparently he likes this. I'm, I'm probably going to give it away. Black girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Bill Maher. Bill Maher oh loves black God. girls. Oh, my God. Is it Bill Maher? I didn't say anything. Oh, I, but he's not a politician. She so, said he had a political show. She okay, so he's got a political show. I'll tell you what, to make you feel even more comfortable then, right? I, I've been a Hollywood dude for a long time. Bill Maher, I, I think, I, I feel, and this is totally genuine, I feel his whole position and his whole shit as a comedian for the last 20 years is just to, to have been impressed black girls. That's it. So, like, he's been out to dinner with, with Corinne every... Corinne Stephens. The, yeah. So I don't think, I mean, I don't, I don't, he was really like weird though. Bill Maher? 
Well, he's older. You know that, right? Like he's in his sixties, and it's like. Well, hey. I lied to him, so I have. To, I swear I lied to everybody about my age. So, like when I went there, I was eighteen, and he was like, "How old are you?" I was like, "I'm 22." He was like, "Well, what? When did you graduate high school?" I couldn't think of the math in my head, so I just said something. He was like, "Well, sweetie, that would mean you're this old." And so I was like, "Fuck!" He was like, "So you're lying to me? I don't like liars." So he got real serious, and then he started asking me other questions. Really? About because I so I was getting money from him, obviously, because he paid me for the service. Blah blah blah. And I, was, I had to split it with the person or give him a cut because they had booked it. Yeah. He was like, what person? He was so mad. He, you could tell he probably wanted to cancel. Like he was, it was the most awkward, awkwardest experience ever. And I, but there's so much more, but I don't want to speak on it. He's a really big dick though. That's what I heard. Nice. So every, no, so here's what I heard. Like him, like that. David good Spade. For, good for him. I heard Spade's got oh, a yeah, fucking David hammer Spade's on. Hung, yeah. Um, and there, and there's guys that are just known as like, all right, cool. You got a big dick. You know, put up with this shit. My question is this though: is you're not a prostitute? No. So is there a service for porn stars where it's just like, hey, I want this porn star and I'll take this porn star and it's cool? Who is he calling and who is he paying at that point? Black girls. Yeah, but, but 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 who does Bill Moore call? Like, did you have a, a pimp or somebody who was just like, hey? I don't even, I literally have, it was another porn star and it was a white girl and I have, I don't think she's fucked him, but she just is like, I think she just sets shit up for us. Because really? I know another black girl that went and seen him and like, she went through the same person I went through. But how, how does the money exchange hands then? Does it have to go through the white girl? No, he gave it to me. Babe. Oh, did he? In cash? Mm-hmm. That's some big boy shit. And he shit. gave me extra because he was pissed. Really? Yeah. What was he so pissed off about? That I lied about my age and that I was giving someone a cut. He was very upset that I was giving someone a cut. He didn't know that. Really? Be- because he thought it was some form of prostitution? Or- I have no idea and I don't want to know and I've never seen him again. I've seen him one time. It was so weird because first of all, I'm 23 right now. So sure. me having a conversation with somebody like that, we are never on the same level. There's not one thing that we can talk about. It was just what? That was weird. That was yeah. like trying to put two magnets he's, backwards together. Like, he's you know close I mean? to 45 years older than you, somewhere in there. How was the sex? Boring. Boring, yeah. But he had a, he had a huge dick, so yeah, it's like, all right, cool. Yeah, but it just cool. wasn't my, sp- my speed. Put yeah, it that speed. way. His speed was like rabbit speed. Oh, his was. Or not rabbit speed. I'm rabbit speed. His was like more like sloth, like very like slow. And he wanted to kiss and make love. and just, He was like, slow down, baby. Like every time, like. You know, like, I'm trying to get this shit done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get the fuck out of there yeah. at this point. Because it's just like, hey, I'm with a 60-year-old white dude who's slicking his hair back. And he's pale. That's yes. a pale motherfucker. He's almost see-through. That guy is almost see-through. And when you're having sex with him, you're probably just like, hey, just let me get this money and get the fuck out of there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and my boyfriend was waiting, I think, outside in the Camaro, parked in his garage. I don't know if he knows he was out there waiting. Because he went, Bill put me in the uh, guest house. So like right when you get coming, it's a guest house, right? And then I think it's his yard, and then his house. Yeah. He, I didn't get to go in that far, <laughs> but I got to see his guest house. You had to fuck him in the guest house. Yes. Shit. You didn't even get to fuck him in the main house. No. That's some slave maybe, shit. Maybe maybe the second time. That is time. some slave shit. Yeah. Right? Like that's fucked up because he got in trouble for that. You know that, right? Wait for what? For the, for making a slave comment to uh, about being a house. Oh, did he? N word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like. And then he's making you stay in the guest house. I didn't stay in there. We fucked in there. You just fucked in the guest house and you had to bounce. Yeah. Man. And so your boyfriend's out in the Camaro. And what does he say? Does he know you're at Bill Maher's house? I think he knew I was there. He didn't really care. I mean, he's a, he was a porn star at the time, too. I'm not dating him no more. But he was a porn star. So he, he was used to taking me to do little, like, side gigs and shit. Sure, sure. And Bill Maher, he, he's not intimidated by Bill at all. So, like... No, who would be? Um, yeah. I'm not intimidated by no, Bill Mark. No, I can't no, no, think no. of anyone on this planet that would be. Not at all. Not Are at all. Are you guys all. being sarcastic? Yeah. No, no 100%. No, no, no. Like, He's a tiny man. I would decimate him as a human being and immediately. Yeah, dance killed hundreds of people in war, by the way. So like, by me saying this, in no way, shape, or form, it, like it, Dan knows where it's just like, all right, cool. If it's a guy like, uh, let's say Zion Williamson, you know, from Duke, or like Shaquille O'Neal, where you're just like, yo... <laughs> That's a big motherfucker, Chris Weber, someone like that, where you're just like, all right, cool, that's a big fucking dude. Uh, John Jones, where you're like, all right, I'm not going against John Jones. Bill Maher, though, is, is the bottom of the, you know, that, that guy is two tennis balls away from a fucking walker across the floor, where you're just like, <laughs> all right, 
cool, Bill. Have fun with all of that. But his gig is black girls, and it always has been for oh, many, many years. And another thing, I was like, after we were completely done, I was like, are you satisfied that you got a black girl? And he was like, who told you that I like black girls? I was like, they told me. That's why they sent me. Oh. He was pissed that I said that, that I assumed he was very interesting. Yeah, the town is known for years. So, like, you know, we, we've always seen him. He's always with a black girl. And it's always, you know, if you look at his show, it's very, hey, this is for the, the, the people. And you're like, who the fuck are you trying to impress right now? Like, for, you know, why? What was the, what was the overreaching theme there? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so I think that's it. And, like, for you, shit, I, you've got to be his dream girl. I don't think so. He didn't call me again. He never called you again. Was there other girls that he did call again that yes. you knew of? Yes. Were they black girls? Yes. Really? And they were right after me, like two weeks two weeks later. That's why I was like, well, he definitely didn't like what I did. Can I say what it is? Who? I what? think you were too light skinned. I think so too. Because the girl that he booked after me was way darker than yes. me. Yes. And so every time I seen him out or I'll, 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 like around town, it was always a darker skinned girl. So it could have been that. I don't think it was you. Trust me, you were like you were doing fine for yourself. I, I think it was just simply the fact that he likes darker skin girls. That's his jam. Like, if it's you versus, like, Lupita Nyong'o, he's, that's, that's his jam. Like, you might be a little too light-skinned for him. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah, so when you get back in the car after all this, what's the conversation with your boyfriend? Well, it was... Not only was my boyfriend in the car, but the guy that, like, had... So it was a girl that booked it, but a guy had went to, like, supervise it to make sure he got the money. Mm -hmm. So he was in the backseat of the Camaro. He had to meet with Bill because Bill was pissed. So it was super awkward. He was pissed off. The guy was pissed off at me. He was like, why would you tell him all that? Like, I was like, you didn't tell me I couldn't say anything. Like, I had to conversate with the man before we fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was very awkward. Just never talked to the girl again. I don't even know who it was. Just, it was awkward. That's wild. What kind of money is that? Like, what, what kind of money is a, is a gig like Bill Maher? I mean, not I a would, lot. I, but I would say for somebody like you, probably... Two to three grand? It was two grand. Yeah. I nailed it. But I got 2500 because he was, I think he was like, bitch, you better not say shit. Take this twenty five. But that's not, a, that's not like hush money to me. I'm like, yeah. $2,500. Nah, it's not, that's not <laughs> enough to be hush money. No. Like an NDA is enough to be hush money. Totally. How, and I only old, signed one. How old, if, uh, yeah, how old for you, were you at the time? When I, with Bill? Yeah. 18. Oh, 18. Okay. So he got you right above like, because in, in L.A., that's legal age. Like, hey, you're, he just made the cut there at that point. Yeah. So you signed one NDA. Who was that with? Oh, you can't, you well, can't say. Uh, I can say what it was. It was a football party. So it was a bunch of random ass dudes. And it was the wackest. Fo I've done a, a lot of football parties. It was the wackest one I've ever done. It was an all nobodies. That's why I was like, I'm signing this NDA. I don't even know you guys. Like, yeah. <laughs> there were nobodies. Practice team, guys. Literally. Yeah. But I signed it because I didn't even, it was bullshit. Like, sure, but you can't talk about me either. <laughs> was it a Super Bowl gig? No, really? I've done a Super Bowl gig and it wasn't. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. It was a bunch of weirdos. Like Everybody just does Super Bowl gigs where it's just like, all right, cool. Like a lot of girls go make a lot of money from yeah. that. I'm not going to drop their names necessarily because I like. No, I already all... know. Oh, you do know? I'm sure I've done parties with them. So you, like, because you, you did another, it might have been the same interview where you said, hey, I've had sex with a top five NBA player, right? I've had sex with top five NBA, top five NFL, top five, I feel like everything. Top five NBA player, current or, or past? Current. And current. I will not say, but one day I will because he's pissing me off. Really? Why is that? Because I gave him the password to my Instagram and my Twitter because he said he was going to help me with business. Like, see who's in my DMs and see which ones will pay for me to fuck or pay to fuck me. Really? Like, he was going to, you know, like, filter him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He was going in there and messaging men and acting like me and sending them his or, like, a, another number and texting them. I feel like me once again and like get sending them old videos of me and asking for videos of them. He's super gay. No one knows this either. Like he's just, and he would tell me stories he's, about like. He's, he's homosexual? I think he's, I think he's, I don't know. I mean, I think he's. There's uh, something going on because yeah, homeboy yeah, yeah, yeah. is pretending to be a hot chick, sending her yeah. videos out in order to get dudes to send. And he said he loves watching me get fucked by big football players. Oh, uh, so that's. It, that's got to be some homosexual or like, it's tendencies. Or I don't know what it is. So look, it, I, you don't have to say who it is, but I'm uh, top of my mind, right? Yeah. Top five N NBA players. You're looking at James Harden. Okay. Um, you're looking at Chris Paul. Okay. Uh, you're probably looking at LeBron James. Okay. 
That's three. You got two more. I got I got two more. <laughs> play- so it's not them. So we're good on that. I'm not it's not seeing- them. It's Ke- Kevin Durant. Is Kevin up there. Durant yeah. is is definitely up there, but he's up for a max contract. Yeah. Um, Steph Curry. Kyrie Irving's a max contract guy. Yeah. Uh, if it's not them, it's not it's not any of them, right? I'm, so I might I might have hit one of them. I don't know. I wouldn't say Kevin Durant though. That would be that that would be too crazy to me. He's too thin. He's too thin to look like he fucks on the reg. Like, hey, cool. I want to get down unless he's the gay one. Is it Kevin Durant? I don't know who it is. <laughs> I will because well, I don't want to. Sp- speak on it yet because that's like literally really a bad idea for me because like that's a basketball player fo- slash football player like those are the people that pay me it is yeah fuck politicians low-key in a way because like i see them here and there but like mm, fuck them um but politicians are in weirder shit too like i've seen them but like they're very low-key and they're yeah i don't even have time for that really to me what do you, what do you mean by low-key like like it's just like I don't know. Like it, you come in the room and it's super awkward. Like that they look out the window, they're looking everywhere, and they're like, I don't know. They just have very like weird conversations. Like it's just not like, hey, how are you? Like not like 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 this. It's yeah. it's very like you know it's forced. You know it's they're scared that maybe you'll say something. No, they're all fucking nervous. It's real anyways. awkward. Yeah. Like I don't know. It's just really weird. I've had because I used to ho in D.C. So like. In Tyson, or not Tyson's Corner, what is it called? Georgetown, maybe? Yeah, Georgetown, yeah. So, like, I would see all a lot of them, and they were just weird. Like, I don't know. Because, mo- look, most of these people get elected, right? They have some finally position of power, and then they're like, all right, cool. I want to do the things I never got to do before. Literally. Yeah, exactly. So, it's like, hey, for a white guy, fuck a black girl's top, top, top of the list. Or it's just like, I just want to see what it's like. You're the safest of that crew, because it's just like, all right, cool. She's light skinned, and it's like this is fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're you like know. a gateway drug. Yeah, exactly. Am I? Yeah. Yes. Big time. Yeah. I like that. That's the, that's the whole jam, and then it goes up from there. And, and the only reason I'm telling you this is out of experience from some of my friends who are older, and you know, where I'm just like, yo, that's the that's the chain you're going on. Like, I get it, um, but it depends on who the person is, where they're from, and all that shit. Because a lot of these people, especially these older white men, have never seen a black girl in their town or city or whatever. And they're like, oh, shit, these are the girls my parents said I shouldn't be with. <laughs> like, that's how things get crazy, oh, you know? It's the same reason see. you would, uh, as a small town girl from Indiana, leave and go do porn, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's the same premise. What, what, what was the, how old were you when, you when you got into porn? I was 18. At 18? Mm-hmm. So you went directly from high school, senior year, to porn. Mm-hmm. I was in high school. I went. I, w- I just left on Thanksgiving break and went to do my scenes. No shit. And then came back and went on Christmas break. And then came back and I got kicked out. And what did your dad say? He just said I ruined porn. He was pissed. Though. He flew out here. He was. He knew what hotel I was staying at because I posted on Facebook and tagged the hotel. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was cool. You know, it was like the first time I left the Indiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I tagged everything. So he knew where I was staying. He came there. He lied to them. He was like, she's only 17. She's underage. Get like, he wanted to get to my room. I think he probably would have like tried to beat my ass. But after like now, he just said I ruined porn. He can't watch it. That's funny as fuck to me. Not your problem with your dad, but the fact that he wasn't mad she was doing porn. He was mad that she fucked it up for him. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's fucking great, dude. That was his thing. Are that's you guys close story. in real life? Sort of. Not really. Sort I don't know. What's close? Ah, uh, Close is like talking once a week. No. Not at all. Mm-mm. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, like, I don't know. Because the, the, the reason why I ask, the hardest thing about all this is, again, you're one of the top in the business, right? Yeah. So you're everywhere. Like, I, you were trending on Twitter, whether, whether you know it or not, two or three days ago. And it was just like, all right, cool. Somebody along the way in his past, present, or future is going to be like, hey, man, isn't that your daughter? Like, is, isn't that her? The, that's, oh, yeah. She's trending, right? And then it's like, because on Twitter, Twitter's like Tumblr. Well, it used to be like Tumblr, but they still show nude pics. So like, always, what? yeah. But so in like pictures of you, when your name is trending in Twitter, it's you naked with it, and it's like, God damn it, that's my fucking daughter. I don't think he sees Twitter. He doesn't have Twitter. He sees he, Facebook. He, oh, he does, okay. Well, Facebook, you're safe, but Twitter's still like, hey. They have no idea. My mom and I'm waiting. She has no idea what Twitter is. Wow, because my mom doesn't know I do porn right now. Like she doesn't. She thinks I'm chilling. 
Really? Yeah. So your dad knows your mom doesn't? Were they they don't know that I got back into it. I just got back into it in December. Really? So they have no idea. And what I don't. Ma- what made you go back? Well, I've been waiting to come back. I was going to come back. Anyways, I had to wait. I was on probation because I, I got in trouble for weed. Oh, you got to, you, would you go to jail for it? I went to prison for weed. Shut the fuck up. How long? <laughs> Six months. Really? Holy yeah. shit. Really? Where at? Here? Oklahoma City. or o- is, Where was I? McLeod, Oklahoma. Hmm. I went to Mabel Bassett. That's oil field country. Over yeah, there. it is. Yeah. Yeah, oh, if, uh, why there? What were you doing there? Oh, uh, we were driving through on the forty to Memphis no from LA. Shit. Yeah. Wow. When you hear stories like that, it's almost unbelievable that people go to jail for it's weed. It's like thirty-three percent of the current prison population is in for some kind of weed-related offense. Yeah, yeah especially somebody stupid, like her. Man. Like, fuck. Yeah. How did you do in prison? Somebody um, as hot as you was it just like, hey, it's on or? Was I was it- kind of a bitch. I mean, like, I was kind of scared because I didn't know because it's Oklahoma. I couldn't relate on any type of level to make friends. Like, oh, your dad went to so and so. Like, oh me, you know, there was nothing. Yeah. And I'm, I was kind of scared. And I have, I had money in prison. You know, I had all the commissary. I was getting mail every day, getting packages. They called me the mail hog, and they always n- nagged me for food. I wouldn't say that the women would try to fuck me, but I feel like maybe the guards. They might have tried because, like, the last two months I was there, they found out who I was, and like, they were asking for autographs. If I feel like if I would have been there for like two more months, yeah, I might have fucked one of them. Really? Would you have like? I would have for the story, right? Yeah, exactly, dude. That would have been fucking I amazing. What, what about the guards? Did any any guards try to pull you aside and be like, "Hey, I know who you are. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll give you extra commissary money, and, like shit, like that. Like let's no. go, let's go for broke." They didn't because someone I just got like fucked up doing that shit like some guard was fucking some girl and gave his and the girl had aids because like prison is like a big fishbowl like everybody fucks everybody you like, aids just goes around crazy there because you know but like, the lifers all have that shit usually so like really I, that, that's something i didn't know well i mean they're lifers so they're like they don't give a fuck <laughs> sure and they're in prison so i mean girls are in and out they'll literally fuck anything anybody and so a guard was fucking one of the lifers and he got aids and gave it to his wife so, like, he not only is he in prison for being a, what is that? He's a sex offender for fucking a state's property or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave his wife AIDS. So, like, no I didn't way. really, yeah, I was kind of like, mm, maybe I shouldn't do this. That's not the uh, anniversary gift that you want to give your spouse. AIDS. No, you know, for usually real. you go to K, K Jewelers or something yeah. like that. And then, you know, AIDS is probably fifth or sixth on that list. Like, it's it's way deep down that list. It's, it's, yeah. it's down there a little bit, yeah. Yeah, Like, yeah, I could yeah. think of diamonds, roses, maybe. Shoes. Eh, hand, there's a handbag, lot of things before AIDS. Handbag, then maybe AIDS. A lot of things before five, AIDS. Yeah. So when you get out of jail, what's your first thought of like, hey, all the things that I miss in this world was was porn the top thing where it was just like, I want to get back into that. No. Well, because I knew I couldn't. I had to wait two years. I had a boyfriend, so I was just ready to go back to him and I was ready to have sex because I was like, I was really horny. Mm-hmm. But you know what's so crazy? People think that the more you have sex... The looser you're, they're like, oh my god, she's a hallway. Like, why would you fuck her, bro? You know, she's she's been with all these. No, no, no. If you wait, it's like a muscle. You need to you need to keep it going. Like, so when I got out of prison, I was like, I'm about to be so tight. I felt like it was just like water. Like I couldn't really feel much. Like it was because yeah. I hadn't worked my vagina in so long. Like now it's completely different. But yeah, it was regular when we, I got out of prison. We've talked about other actresses about this before. That whole thing, like she fucks dudes all the time. But what if you're just like with one person, you fuck them four times a day every day? That's yeah. that's like more than if you just fuck one dude once a week. You no, I, that logic absolutely. doesn't we, make We had Jacqueline sense. Taylor on the show. Yeah, she was talking about that last time. Yeah, yeah, she was talking about that last time, and it was just like, all right, cool. It makes sense once you say it out loud. So when you got out, were you just fucking your boyfriend like nonstop? Like, hey, it, I mean, yeah, pretty much. It was reverse prison sex. Usually for dudes, you're just like. Man, I, I got to get to a hotel and get down right now. Like, how soon from prison to a bedroom were you? How fast was that? Well, I had to take a flight. So once I got off my flight, it was super fast. I, I swear. I, and I was trying to, like, stretch it out. I wanted it to be so romantic. But it was literally five minutes. So really? Walked, as soon as I walked in the door, I think I sat on the counter. We started making out. Bam. No foreplay. No nothing. <laughs> Just straight to it. You had to fucked all weekend at that point. I think we did. Yeah. Yeah. And so what was the decision of like, hey, I want to move to, to Los Angeles and get in? I don't live here. Oh, you don't live here at all? No, I live in Baltimore. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. How do you get from ba- How do you get booked from Baltimore to porn shoots out here? I work for Vixen. Yeah, I understand that. But like, are they worldwide? 
Because I didn't, I didn't know that they were global. And it's like, to me and to Dan or everybody else who's, who watches porn or, or is a fan of porn, you would think it's either Van Nuys, Los Angeles, or Bust, right? How do you get discovered in Baltimore? I didn't get discovered. I used to, well, I mean, I, I've been, I was in porn two and a half years, like from when I was 18 to like 20, mm-hmm. 20, 20 and a half, 20 and a half ish. But like, I mean, I was out here. I yeah, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You were, so you were out here. Yeah. Right. So then you go back to Baltimore and they were like, hey, you're out of jail. We want to, we want to sign you. Is it a contract? Is yeah. it a one year contract? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, and they say, hey, you, you can work from Baltimore. You can work from here. We don't care Wherever where you I fuck. Want. That's great. Yeah. So who do you fuck in Baltimore? Nobody. I'm so sexually frustrated. I cannot find anybody. Like I was literally, I swear to God, the true story, I was driving on the street the other day and I seen this fine ass guy and I was like, should I stop? Should I stop? I have nobody here. I didn't. Because a lot of people say like, there's a lot of the guys there are dirty. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just so sexually frustrated right now. Is it like the wire there? Like how close is it? Be real. Because as a white person, we all think it's like the wire there. We're just like, I know Yo. you guys do. No, it's not. It's not, right? No. I mean, it is, but like, are you scared? I'm not. No. Look, we're not frightened of anything. We we had a guy uh, on our show, the first Brosman of the Year winner. Yeah. Uh, for for drinking bros. Jimmy. Yeah. He stormed the field uh, for the Army Navy game in Baltimore. He went to Baltimore jail. And he was like, yeah, it fucking sucked. Like, oh, I'm sure. It was it was fucking terrible. And I was like, what was it like? No lie, it goes. It was like the fucking wire. Oh, I For white it. people, that's all we know is Baltimore is the fucking wire or crab cakes in Maryland. Yeah. That's what Maryland does, like wedding yeah. crashers. That's all we really know about Baltimore. I've, I've been through there in passing. I think I maybe went to an Orioles game. Yeah. yeah. Cal Ripken Jr. I, I know that Kevin Spacey was found there, you know, recently. Found? Yeah. Like he's in hiding and he was found there. He was in hiding for yeah. over a year from when he got uh, me hemmed, I guess you'd call it. Um, so they, they found him is. in Baltimore, and I, but I guess they were shooting uh, the TV show there. Really? Yes. So his manager had a place there on the water. It almost looked like a uh, maybe in, like an eight unit condo complex on there, and they got some shots into his fucking condo. I mean, it was a massive condo and good on him and all that shit. But I guess he thought no one would look for a white so guy maybe, in Baltimore. So there's a new name that's popping in my head: John Wall. Oh, John Wall. Yeah. If you're from, so if we're going DC, she didn't. What about what about Bradley Beal? Bradley Beal's out of there. John Wall's out of there. Um, it wasn't Bryce Harper, was it? No, what? it's NBA. Any any ma- major league baseball players that we know? No. Okay. There's one, but I don't know if it's a major league. Westbrook, maybe. We didn't Brian, say him. Yeah, we didn't say Brian Westbrook. He's a, he's another top guy. Yeah. No. Did you no. get so you, this dude? Does he still have like access to your shit? I don't think so. How is he trying to help you though? Like, hey. I thought he, well, he would be like, and he did. Like, I have seen several athletes, like, that he hooked up. Like, so, like, I, I thought, I don't know. He would just tell me, like, he knew who was real. He knew who paid. He's in a group chat with a lot of, like, the top players. Yeah. Like, he even knew one of the videos I did with them. He's like, yeah, he was in the group chat. So I was like, how did, because I was like, how did you know I fucked him? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I don't, I mean, he said he was going to help me. He, he, and he did so, a little bit, but. Well, the thing I found fascinating, because at dinner tonight, we were, we were with the president of Vixen. Yeah. He said, and, and this was a huge compliment, he thought you, you sucked the best dick in the business. Like, you were the most talented person on the planet. Would you agree with that assessment, yes or no? I, I mean, you, say- and by the way, we, we were all sitting together. It wasn't like he said that behind your back. Yeah. Like, he was, he, he was like a proud parent where he was just like, hey, I, f- I found the next fucking superstar. I think I'm one of the best. I don't think I'm the best because I feel like that would just be, come on now, like, but I think I'm one of the best. So would you be comfortable wearing a t-shirt around day to day that says top five dick sucker? Yes. I believe I'm top five I dick sucker. I will make you that shirt. No I shit. I believe that. I do so, believe that. Okay. So have you heard the story of who the, the best supposedly is of all time? Superhead. I don't believe that. Oh, you don't believe that? Mm-mm. Okay. Because every rapper is, has mentioned her in a song where it's just like, yo, Superhead was fucking incredible and blah, blah, blah. You'd say you're, I haven't you're messed the best. with those rappers. No, Mm-mm. have you, you? You haven't fucked any rappers. I, I have, but not oh, those. You have. Not the not not Which like Jay Z, mentioned- Drake. No, no. Uh, none, none of those. Like Lil Wayne. Mm-mm. Uh, any like, uh, what what about like Migos? Mm-mm. No. Anybody cool that you listen to where you're just like, yo, all right, I get down on them, I fuck to them, and now I'm having sex with them all the time. 
Really? Who? Because, like, for us, like, shit, I think if Dan, like, Dan was in war, right? I think if, if he could go back and fuck somebody, like a Leon Panetta or somebody, you know, like <laughs> somebody who was the top guy, no, like, no. no? No. You wouldn't want to suck Leon Panetta's dick. <laughs> no, he's an old man. What about, what, what about Mattis? Like, if you could suck, you know. No. No, but no. just once, like, hey, like, he's got it. Like, I'd Mattis has got to come one more time. I, no, I'd watch him lay it down, though. You would. So you would, you would yeah. watch Man as Fuck. Yeah. And that's a nice thing. It is. I am not saying who the... The rappers are? No way. <sighs> no NBA, no rappers. Politicians, like I said, in a way, fuck them. Sure. But the other ones, those are my hearts right now. Not, that's cool. Not, like, they pay, they pay the bills sometimes. Oh, I get it. I get it. Like, the rappers are... <laughs> I wouldn't even say the rappers pay my bills. I would say like the athletes. Yeah, yeah, the athletes, of course. Look, the athletes for sure. Because you're looking at, and I wonder if you guys talk about this. this is a, that's a great uh, point right now. Because like, look, NBA highest salaries they've ever had. NFL highest salaries. MLB, but nobody makes more money than baseball players. Yeah, like not major league baseball. Not even, players. Yeah, and I haven't even. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even really know any yet. Really, I'm like the worst. However, a lot of these like famous soccer play, players will hit me up across seas. Don't even really like believe Ronaldo? respond. Like as Ronaldo no, hit no, me not that one because he's sexy, so yeah. I would know. Yeah, not that one, but like super. I don't even know their names because I don't give a fuck. Sure. Even like top players hit me up here because yeah, I feel no, like no you one, have to milk it. No one cares it. about soccer. Yeah, nobody cares about soccer over here. But That's those the are. Difference. What do you mean? Those are paid people too. Oh, yeah. bro, not, not in this country. No, not not, not really? this country. No. So if you fuck a United States soccer player. They're poor. Oh, you I didn't even know we had them. soccer here. I meant like foreign, like 100%. over there. You fuck a foreign player, congratulations. They make money than more money than any NBA player you've ever fucked in your entire life. I mean, it is crazy over yeah, it's, there. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. And, and then above that is Formula One. Those Formula One Formula race one car drivers. The, yeah, it's the highest grossing. That's the, by far. If you fucked Hamilton, yeah. congratulations. That's, that's the richest athlete on the planet, yep. I think, right? Yeah. I don't even yeah. know what that is. Yeah, black dude. Black, oh really? Formula One what race is car Formula driver. One? Oh, race car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it's. Da- I mean, look, it's dangerous as fuck. But around the world, that's one of the richest sports there is. So, you know, uh, over here again, I, I, like I think the top would be probably NBA just because of the, the shortness of the contracts. Uh, MLB is is kind of stretched. Um, we well, had one. MLB is the guys at the bottom don't make much. The guys at the top are fucking making way more than any other sport. Yeah, and we, and we had we had one uh, stripper on the show who was talking about um, the difference of fucking athletes, right? So, uh, and the difference of fucking athletes was she said the guys that would come in like uh, at her strip club, right? The guys who wore helmets or hats like down and you couldn't see their faces, they would try to throw more money at you and try to fuck you differently because they wanted to be more famous than they already are because you couldn't see their faces. And I was like, oh, all right, that makes more sense. Whereas the NBA players, if you watch an NBA game, right, you're seeing their whole face top to bottom on screen for two and a half hours straight. An NBA player walking down the street, you know exactly who that is. Yeah. Whereas a baseball player, you know, you got a hat down, it's low. Football player, you don't really know. Like Tom Brady, you know what he looks like. But some of these, some of these fucking guys, I, don't, I have no idea what they look like. Yeah. Like my favorite team is the Falcons. I don't, if Devonta Freeman was walking down the street right now, I had no, I, w- I wouldn't have any idea who it was. Um, so the NBA players, those are the those are the guys like facially where everybody's picking out saying, "I want that kid, I want that baby right now in me." <laughs> Has that ever been a thought of like, "Yo, fuck I want no. that baby"? No. Never. I'm on the depot shot. I'm not trapping nobody. You got me really? Up. Yes. What's the depot shot? Explain that to the audience. Like it's uh, well, I've been getting it for like a year, so like I don't have periods. Like you cannot trap anybody, pretty much. Like the pill, you can miss a pill, stop taking it. There's no way in hell that I could, I mean, unless I, I get it every three months, unless I just stop taking it and then I, you have to wait a little while because like I, I got to get my period back. Sure. I can't trap anybody, nor do I want to. I Like I said, these, the athletes, I mean, they don't really pay my bills like that because I, I have a job, but like. Uh, a job beyond porn? That's my job. No, I understand. But so there's nothing else. So you make a, a living on porn, 100% on just on porn. Hell yeah. Damn. We make money. No, I know, but like we, we don't know that kind of salary because they don't promote it in the press. So we don't know how much money you make. Like oh, yeah. uh, on a yearly, what would be your yearly salary for porn? Well, definitely over six figures. It is. And so are you under contract for that or is that per scene? Contract. 
Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Because somebody else that was over here last time, I'm not going to say who it was. It was another, somebody else big in porn said they were paying girls based on what they did. So like if they did anal, they got more money. If they did, you know, girl on girl, X, Y, and Z, they Usually, got more money. Usually, yeah. But I'm in like, I'm in a perfect position that I literally get a set rate for just, if I do girl, girl, it's the same if I do boy, girl. Really? Yeah. It's just because the contract, I have like a set pay for each scene. You do? Yeah. And so your contract covers that across the year where you're like, all right, great. And I didn't do anal, so like, anal's really where, where they like step it up That's and they the pay you a money, lot. That's the huge money, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't do that, so like, I'm getting, I'm getting paid pretty well, I think. Yeah. Is there any thought of like, hey, I want to switch that later down the line and, and buy another house or? What do you mean? I mean, if you do anal, that doubles the pay, right? I guess. Yeah? I don't know if I could do that, though. That shit hurts. Have you done it before? On accident twice. Dan's done it on accident um, twice, but it was... I, what was your boyfriend's name? I uh, went to Catholic school back in the day. <laughs> You're the one with the boyfriend wearing those shoes. Oh, oh stop shit. right there. This is just me being trendy and cool as fuck. <laughs> that's, like, that's like cowboy boots and Uggs had sex. Ah, these are just cool as fuck. Uh, Ain't it though? These you know are Steve I mean? Madden's. Come on, girl. No, There's aren't. nothing wrong with fashion. I'm not gay. I'm from Atlanta. Well, you got the you, <laughs> from you have the hick hat, and then you have like the the trucker sh- uh, other like jeans and yeah, shirt yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the shoes. I don't know if you're going to Alaska. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going, not sure what both. we're he's doing. Going both. I'm, I'm doing both. Yeah. You want a guy who can do both. You want a guy who can fish, and then maybe just go to you know help you up pick maybe out a ice handbag. fish. Pick out a handbag later, you know? Pick okay. out something nice. I think this is Steve Madden, actually. Are they? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Look, I try to keep them on cool shit. Okay. Um, I hang out with these these fucking rednecks. This is Bison Union, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we love Bison yeah. Union. They're, they're one of our yep. sponsors. Um, they're, they're a big deal. Bison Union's a big deal. We like cool shit that's off the off the beaten path where it's just like, all right, rad. Yeah, well, Tom, you were just hitting Tom on my Hardy friends. Tom Hardy and The Rock so. are fucking big time in the Bison Union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah look, Dwayne Johnson. Big, big, big fan of them. Yeah. Uh, as a dude, I think I think this. If you want to measure level of gayness, right? I think <sighs> past H and M is where you can be like, all right, cool. Like if you're going past H and M, that's how you can judge. Now, level see, of I gayness. thought it was when what you is... had sex with other men. No, no. What is past H and M? H and M for a dude is like that's as far as you'll go. Where you're like, ah, I really need to go out and look nice tonight, like for a respectable amount of money, <laughs> maybe under sixty dollars. After that, like if you like Louis Vuitton and all that other shit, you see that on dudes, you're like, eh, cool, like rappers. Yeah, they wear that shit like the slides and everything else, and you're like, man, I, to me, it's like, it's, it, no, that's too much. That's too much for me. I don't get what it. Ross is saying is that when he ever hooks up with men, he wants them to have calluses on their hands. Mm-hmm. He wants them to know. He wants to know they work for a living. I want full broke back. Yeah, you know when when they interweave because it's a basket weave. I don't mean to tell you this as a sex worker, but it's called a basket weave when you intertwine the fingers and then you go, you know. Oh, dick suck like this. Yeah, it's, a, it's but it's called a two handed basket weave. You don't even need to go that deep. Like you don't even need to intertwine your fingers. But as a dude, you do for another dude. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you want them to know that you're in it uh, emotionally, physically, and that you're spending some it's, time. Yeah, it's not necessarily on about their dick. the physics of getting things done. It's about letting them know you're going to put that extra effort in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You fuck any SoundCloud rappers? I don't think. And who are the who are the big time guys? Just give me one. No way. Just one, just one guy. I just want to know. No way. 21 Savage. No. No. You'll never guess. I would never guess in a million years. Mm-mm. Why is that? Cuz cuz <laughs> Because like you were you're, you were off on the beginning when we were talking about the politician thing and even well, yeah, the, that's cuz the way you described it was I was off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not a politician. Okay, so well, even when you he does political humor, he's a he's a comedian. Like right now, you're like totally off, and it's you're not even gonna on rappers. Like totally to the left. My shit is you'll like, never in the game. Like I know the top of the rap game. Yellow Wolf, somebody like that. No, no. <laughs> she's not fucking Yellow Wolf. Well, she, you said a bunch of black dudes. So I just pulled the first white guy. Out no, there. no, no. It what about G Easy? Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be like Macklemore or G Easy or Yellow Wolf. Like I don't see you with one of them. I again, Migos is who I see you with. Or I, man, I would I would even say 
Maybe Melly before he went to prison. Yeah. I got murder on my mind. <laughs> murder on my mind. Because there's an element. I've heard that. I know where you grew up. There's probably an element where you're like, man, I want to fuck somebody like super hood. Because that like Columbus, Indiana is not hood. Yeah. Is that that's part of it, right? I mean, I've already fucked hood people. Like just to do it or because you you got paid to? Just to do it. Yeah, just to do it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we've all had that uh, element of danger. Dan, by the way, fun facts about him. He only dates people that will murder that that could possibly murder him one day. And that's the honest truth. So like if if there's not a chance that this girl won't won't stab him in the middle of the night, he doesn't date him. That's yeah, that's accurate. Yeah. Really? What the yeah. fuck? Why? That's 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 all he can get off on. When you killed as many people as Dan have, like Are you really serious when you say that? Dead serious. So I think that's the only way Dan can get off is like, dude, if he doesn't wake up and check, so he's check the pillow for what's that? He's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The normal routine of everyday life is like I'll blow my fucking brains out. Yeah. So, so he needs something to up the yeah. pure energy. Pure pure energy. And it doesn't have to be that extreme. I mean, obviously, as a human being, I want to be happy at some point. Uh, even though I'll never ever make a facial expression to show that. Uh, <laughs> You'll never see him smile in a photo, by the way. No, really? Yo. It's been year like people thought it was a fucking gag for a while, and then I started posting pictures of me from like 15 years ago. It was like never happened. Nothing. Stone face. Yeah. <laughs> But the rappers, man, I, now I'm intrigued because I've named a lot tonight. You'll never. A you're, lot. you're totally like a lot, off. A lot. Post Malone. Nope. You're, you're like, not, none of these are in, anywhere close. I love Post Malone. I, is it weird that I almost wish he was fucking Post Malone? I heard we, he's cool as fuck. I know. Same. So he's, we've just missed him on this show three times, right? Yeah. Um, he was sick one time. And he, and he really was genuinely sick. Like He came out on stage and he looked like shit. And he was just like, all right, cool. I get it. Uh, Super Bowl, some other things like... Uh, Super Bowl, I think 21 Savage got arrested mm. before we were like, he got deported. Right? Oh, before we yeah. were supposed to interview him. Like, things like that where it was just like, God damn it, man. We were, we were close. Yeah. So if you say you were fucking posty, I'd be like, oh, man, let me officiate the wedding. Like, I get it. Because you're cool. He seems cool. That would be a great fit. Yeah, no. I don't want to see you with a shitty rapper. I don't think I'm post Malone's type. I don't know. I don't know. He's, he hasn't been on yet. So I don't know. I don't know his type. But. For you, damn it, dude. What's my type? Nelly? Mm-mm. Older or younger? I don't know how old Nelly is. What about no. like Sway Lee, somebody like that? Mm-mm. No. Fuck, what about like uh, a, a Boogie with a hoodie? <laughs> like, am I close? Never. I'm not close to any of these. No, you're Are not they even top hot. 10 guys? Uh, I don't think so. Who is the top? All right, so let's go NBA. Who is the top five guy you, you talked about on that show the other day? Never will tell. Oh, you'll never tell. Oh okay. no, I will one day if because um, he keeps messaging these these men, and I warned him like three days ago. Like, stop doing it, please stop. I've given him so many warnings. Like he wasn't even supposed to log into my Snapchat. He logged into my Snapchat, saved all my videos, so that he could really act like me. He could just screenshot. Like, couldn't you just screenshot this shit and just ruin on his snap, career? You could tell though. She got she'll get a notification. Well, yeah. it logged me out. It, like when someone logs into your snap, it logs you out. Gotcha. So I don't know what he was doing in there. I don't know if if he was screenshotting or, but I know that he definitely saved some videos because, like, some of the dudes that he was hitting up hit me up and would send me screenshots. You know, really? like, oh my god, that's from that's my Snapchat. That's really fucked, man. That's creepy. It's shit. crazy though, but like, a lot of athletes hit up porn stars, and it's just like, yo, I want to do this. Fuck, that's he- not creepy at all. The creepy part is homeboy fucking logging into her shit. And- yeah, yeah. Well, that's creepy, that's- but like, let's face it, that's that's also what you would do for a girl, like me. Yeah, I you would, would never give her do your that. shit. Oh fuck no, Dan, never. Dan, you Absolutely wanted to know not. the ins and outs of you before she kills you. Like, no, I think you want to know. I don't. Right I don't up before impacts of that that knife goes in, where you're just like, oh <laughs> shit, you have my Snapchat password. <laughs> it was Donkey Dick one eighty nine, capital D, capital D one eight nine. Like that's underscore one eight nine. I got fucking killed. I would always use a special character, so it's, <laughs> it's all wrong. There would be an ampersand in there somewhere. Yeah, would you ever marry one of these guys? No. And is that your goal? Do you want to be a mom? Do you want to... I want to be a mom, but I don't want to be a mom to someone that's like, nobody famous because I feel like they're all infatuated with themselves and I don't like... I don't not even really attractive either. I feel like when you're really attractive, you're more into well, like, like yourself. I can't... I'm telling you, I've dated so many different types of people, athletes, every walk of fucking life and I like regular 
and I mean, when I say regular, like lawyer or doctor or right. like anything, like a, I guess a truck driver, but like, yeah, like I, I don't Dan. know. Look at Dan. He looks like a fucking truck driver. <laughs> he looks like an extra on Duck Dynasty. Like that's your typical, you know, like, hey, oh, fuck. Dan. Duck Dynasty, really? Dan. I speak in complete sentences. D'Anthony, D'Anthony, I'm going to be honest with you. I think you guys make a great couple. Well, thanks. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. I, and like if you guys meet on the show and have a little baby after this, like I want the credit I for can't. that. I can't. I want that birth control. I, I understand that. Dan, he's, his semen, though, has been tested at like nuclear levels. Um, <laughs> it was used in North Korea for a long time. I don't want to get into that whole backstory. That's why Trump called off that deal. It was just like, hey, we found some semen in this rocket. I think it, it might be Dan Holloway's. <laughs> if you could stop fucking with that shit, it would be great. Yeah, I can't um, stop pounding off on nukes. Yeah. I don't know what it <laughs> yeah. is. It's just... It's, it's really weird. It's a hobby. It's a passion. Yeah, it's, yeah well, it, passion, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like the passion of the Christ. Let me ask you this. <laughs> is, it, is it hard with the last name of Trump where everybody's just like, fuck, any relation? No. Totally kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, like... Wait, what? No, because you're black, obviously. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> no I'm barely black. You are. What, what, what would you say? What's your percentage? I did Ancestry. So oh, I you know. did? Yes. Oh, what is it? I'm 3% Congo. Okay. And 20% some other black. I don't really know what it is. I don't remember my head. But like I'm 10% Irish in Scotland. My brothers have red hair. They're white. My dad's white. So I have like, step, or is it called half brothers? We have yeah, different yeah, moms. Yeah. So we, we have different moms. So like they have green hair. Have you ever heard of Cheaper by the Dozen? Yes. You know the the uh, guy with the red hair on there? Yeah. Name, that's, my, that's my cousin. His name's Forrest Landis. Really? That is literally my cousin. Yes. Do you guys chat? And like, yes. Hey. Every Christmas I see him. No way. <laughs> yes. So like my, that's what my brothers look like. Like they're red hair, green eyes. I have 10%, 10% Irish and Scott, whatever in me. And then 50-something okay. percent um, white or English or Eastern... It, it just says like whatever North the hell European that is. Some yeah, Eastern yeah, yeah. Europe. Seen those but but in today's day and age, to have the last name of Trump, like I'm sure people have read your name out somewhere or whatever and been like, wait, what? I feel like it was when I was in jail, like because before I he wasn't running for president when I picked Trump, and then whenever he was like it was real serious, he was running. I was in prison, <laughs> so all during that, like mm -hmm. from when did he get elected? November. I was in prison uh, from yeah, June November to December. Yeah. So I feel like all that was. No one's ever given me shit, really. No shit. That's crazy. They don't understand. They're kind of like, they. I'm sure they want to ask, like, why'd you pick Trump? Like, blah, 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 blah. But no one's ever given me shit. So, but you picked that. Well, my agent helped me. But oh, why? he did? Yeah. Why? So, it, well, yeah, what was the defining factor? Was it over money? Because, like, you remember that Max, that Mac Miller song, uh, Donald Trump, like, I'm on some Donald Trump shit. Yeah, like, was great. that, was that like that? No, he, well, he was just like, we want you to be a boss bitch. I thought porn star names were like cinnamon and it's like stupid shit. Like, they are, they're Pocahontas. shitty. Pocahontas. Yeah. I thought they were like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. so, cause I'm from Indiana and I'm Pocahontas thinking. Pocahontas is Elizabeth Warren, by the way. So she's a politician. I'm what? Kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Well, I thought that, that like porn names were like that, but no, he was like a regular name, but he just wanted to put a Trump on the end. I don't know. I didn't even know who the fuck Donald Trump was. That's great. We just picked it. Look, it sounds look, it, it sounds like a boss, a boss name. Yeah. And like before he got elected, hey, holy shit, that sounds like this girl's got a lot of money. She's not gonna put up with your shit. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and put it in her hand before she's sucking dick? Like, I get it. I get it. I like it. Like, are you gonna stay with it? Or are you gonna change it? Staying. You staying? Absolutely. Unless I got in trouble. Unless Trump's wanted to sue me or something. Okay. But yeah. So right now you're in Baltimore, right? Yeah. Um, are you flying out here how many times on a regular basis? Once a month. Once a month to so fuck. And then the rest well, is, is the, the rest fuck. of it paid gigs around the world? Yes. Have you gone to uh, United Nations? Yes. No. No. I turn all those down. I heard all those Saudi guys fuck. They do, but I turn them all down. I'm kind of scared to go out the country by myself to do that type of shit. Really? Yeah. Would you fly with anybody? I would. I would fly with a bunch of bitches, but I want it to at least be three of us. Like, Yeah. Especially, are you talking about Dubai? Yeah. Bitch, we are riding deep. Like, we're not going alone. I like that. I like that because I heard uh, Kim Kardashian back in the day. Yeah. That was her gig. She I heard too. I heard she used to go out there and fuck. Flying for like 250 a pop or something like that. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. had some buddies that run security for those guys too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this, I, is, that, is that something you'd be down for? Yeah, but I just feel like I don't know what they would want to. I'm a porn star. I'm not Kim Kardashian. Kim, she's not a porn star. Like no, I'm, I'm the you're real. Better. 
we're the, I'm the real deal. Like yeah, yeah. they've seen me get like ran through. So I feel like that's what they would want that, but like times ten. Like they want to shit on my mouth. You know, they they want to do that crazy shit. They want to beat my ass because they don't like women. Yeah. And I just want to make sure someone's there, like, because bitch, if I'm dying or if I'm tied up, just make sure I can breathe. Gotta like, have something. a safe word. <laughs> yes. Okinawa. And I don't know if that's they know mine. English, so yeah. we got to make sure we have an English speaking bitch there. Yeah, translator. Yes. Absolutely. Um, why is, have you been shit on? No, but I would totally do it if they paid if the price was right. Really? How much does somebody have to pay you to shit in your mouth? To shit in my mouth? Yeah, well, uh, that's what you because that's what you said. I would do it. Um, I don't want to like lowball myself here. No, not at all. But if somebody look, we have four point I think two million listeners. Just I don't have to just eat it or swallow it. No, you don't have to. Just, just like shit, and I just could like spit it out. Yeah, you can spit it out. Shit, I'll do it for like. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 50 grand? A little more. All right, 75? I think I would do it for like 150. Yeah, okay, 150. Because first of all, I'm going to get sick as fuck from yeah. someone shitting in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So course. I'm going to be out of work for a little while for that. And a little I'm, bit. People are going to talk shit about me and I'm going to be totally judged. So there goes a lot of clientele. But here's the thing. If you go to the, let's say you go to the Middle East, right? Nobody knows about it and it's like they're Oh, eating, they're I'll, do, I'll do it for 50 pop, sure. And okay. no one knows about it. Yeah, yeah, nobody knows about it. Absolutely. Yeah. But on video, so if it's going to be on video, you want 150. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. What's the craziest shit you would do on video and what's that price amount? I don't know what the craziest shit I would do. Well, that's like me, so broad. Let, so let me break it down to you. Every year it seems like somebody's trying to break the, the record for the world's biggest gangbang, right? Uh, so let, let's say it was that. Whatever. I don't know. I could do it. 600 dudes, right? Let's say it was six hundred dudes in a day. What would forever. be your price total? I know. What would be your price total from that? And you'd be because you'd be out of work for a little bit after that, right? Uh, six hundred guys. What's the? I don't know what the record is. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I, uh, Dave, our producer is going to look it up. I don't know what the, the, the record is, but I feel like every, every year lot. somebody's trying to break. I feel like it's a hundred this year. Is it really? Uh, no, it's got to be more than that. Yeah, because it's in a full day. Because the rules are all weird. It's like the dude's got to be penetrating you for 45 consecutive seconds or some bullshit. Yeah, it is. I did a blow bang, and they were like, make sure we get each guy so many seconds. Yeah. Currently, it's a Spartan 300. Mm. Who is it? Did it say? 300. So, all right. 300 is the record for a day. What would do. somebody have Annabelle to pay? Chong. Who is it? Annabelle Chong. Mm. Annabelle Chong. All right. So, 300 is the, is the current record in a day. What's that number for you to break that record? Oh fuck, that's a lot of money though. They aren't gonna because like if you think about it, even if those six hundred or whatever you said people pay a thousand bucks. Yeah, three, so three three hundred dudes, that's, and that and that video is gonna go huge, obviously because you're breaking a record. It's like Chuck Yeager breaking the you know. I want money. I want like four hundred, five hundred k. There we go. Yeah, that's that. I mean, that's a good chunk of money. I feel like that's not even asking for a lot because that's not even either. like that's like lowballing. Yes. No pun intended, but yeah, it is low balling. Uh, what do you think about celebrities in porn right now, like Fair Abrams and and shit like that, coming off a of Teen Mom? Because she was banking. I mean, she's making what two to five million a year off those anal videos from Teen Mom. I don't think so. I, that's what I heard. I don't think so. She did it with uh, James Dean, I believe. That first one. She made using like two point five per per video. I think overall, because she was getting some back end deals on that. Again, oh, no pun oh, okay, intended. I get it. But it's it's fair. I don't Abrams. really give a fuck. I don't. No, really, you don't I don't care know. About that. I don't know where. I will never work with her, so I could give a. I don't really care. I think she's gorgeous. I don't think she really never really had to do porn. Like, bitch, what are you doing? You're in Team Mom. Sure. You're Farah. Like, yeah. what are you doing? I don't even know what she's doing. She's not even good at it. So like, I don't. I don't get it. I don't. She's care. not terrible. Like, I, like I'll say this on, on the list of celebrities right now, um, who are doing sex tapes. She's probably one of the top ones. Like, if, she, I, if we're Hulk going Hogan old school, was pretty good. Hulk Hogan had one. Oh well, oh, <laughs> I'm oh, just God. kidding. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a, yeah, he's a t- his is a Hulk had one. one? Yeah, 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 yeah he it's had bad. One. Like his buddy, his buddy's a cuck, right? So he fucking fucked his buddy's wife. Yep, they recorded it or some shit. They, they recorded it. They wanted and, to blackmail him. Uh, uh, they blackmailed him. I guess he was saying like his daughter and N words and blah 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 yeah. over and over and over again. He sued Gawker. What did he get? One hundred and sixty-seven million. Something yeah, he put crazy Gawker like out of business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what? He, yeah, he put Gawker dot com out of business altogether. But it was the shittiest porn of all it time. It was bad, man. Super grainy. It looked like uh, the Loch Ness monster popping up out of the water. It was just like, <laughs> is that even Hulk Hogan at this point? Like. 
I don't know. If he didn't say, take your vitamins, brother, like 18 what? times, I wouldn't even know that it's him. I want to watch it. I know. Yeah, you, you can't can watch it. Get so, on your phone. Let me ask you this. Celebrity porn, who's your favorite? Cause I, I don't I, have much to choose from. Well, I, I, like I'll, male I'll drop some to you. Uh, Paris Hilton. You see that one? No. No. Tommy Lee and uh, Pamela Anderson. Never. No. Come on. Kim Kardashian and Ray J. I want to say them because Kim's very pretty. She is, but did you that, see it? Mm-mm. No way. I seen the dick sucking, I think. It was just very like, just straight. And she was just looking up the whole time like this. Yeah, it looks super boring. It was boring, the, uh, but. The China, chi- the wrestler. The, well, no, the other chick. China? The, the, that's who Dan's into. No, 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 Black no. China? No no no, 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 no. White China. Other, She's dead now. The other woman, the younger one from, the, from wrestling. I can't remember her fucking name, though. Dan, I don't know. It's like you're, I'm playing cards with my brother's kids tonight. I don't know. I'm talking dudes? about serious celebrity porns here. Name some men. So, so men-wise, talking about uh, uh, Charlie Sheen's had some out there. Did you ever fuck Tiger Woods? No. Tiger out. I've never. So I would love to. Here was one of the stories that I heard, right, repeatedly, is that like maybe, I don't know, eight, ten videos of Tiger were sent in, right? And they were just like, man, these are shitty like girls just trying to record it from the side, like sucking his dick, things like that, like boring conversations. But I didn't like I didn't know if you fucked Tiger Woods. No, I would like to. I knew to. a friend of mine fucked Tiger Woods. She looked like you. Did she? Yeah, light skin. She was hot. Like, I thought he was into white girls. I both. He is, yeah. Both. I think yeah, he's yeah, into yeah. white like, girls. Light skin, black girls. Too. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, both. Are you a, a sports fan at all? I played sports, but I don't really like to. I like the Olympics. I don't really like to watch anything else. Really? Yes. Would you? Uh, so, who would have been your dude? The Usain Bolt? No, I like gymnastics. Oh shit! Well, they're all gay though. The dudes are no all... female. Oh, okay. Did you fuck Gabby? Gabby Douglas? Is that who you're down with? Uh, like, did you fuck girls too? Um, uh, not so much for fish fry, but like, it's okay. It's just a flat board, and I feel like we're just, like, what am I getting out of that? Yeah. I just don't like it. Where did the term fish fry come from? Like, like sausage fest. Like right now, it's a fucking sausage fest. It's all dicks ah. in here. So like fish fry, you know, it's all pussy, bunch of bitches. Yeah, I'm gonna steal that term. I like that term. Actually. Yeah, I don't really like the fish fr- fish stuff. No, 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 not at all. Mm-mm. I get it. So who's your who's your dream dude out there? Let's go movie star first. I don't want to say it because then I feel like if I say it, he won't fuck me because I'm like a fan. White or black? Black. Is your Selba? Nope. It's just because of his body and like his character in movies. Rock? Because I like superhero movies. Like Is I like comic stuff. Um, No. Will Smith? No. It's Michael B. Jordan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. a good looking dude. Yeah, I, you know, I just like he's really cute. Tuba. and He's a good actor. I like him in all like the before. superhero movies. Yeah, that's like super. Like, oh my god. Whoa, what was that one movie? Um, Harley Quinn. Whoever plays Harley Quinn, who's that? Who plays? Oh, Margot Robbie. That bitch. I'm not gay, but that Yo. bitch can get it. Yep. So from for me and my wife, that's my celebrity bang pass. It's Margot Robbie, and she's like cool. It's bad bitch. Who's the one that also <laughs> has like the really sexy voice? Uh, Scarlett Johansson. She can get it. Yeah, she can get that too. Yeah. Uh, what about dude wise? Any white guys? Tell because we we have a lot of white listeners. Any white guys? I never thought about this. Like no one's ever really asked me. Like this is what we do on Drinking Bros. We answer oh the hard hitting questions and we don't stop until we get the answers. White guy that I would want to fuck. I'm sure there's plenty. Like Thor. I don't even know. Ooh, that's got the long hair. Yeah. He's sexy. Him yeah. worth yeah. I'd yeah. bang him. The guy that's it, dating the old lady. Oh, uh, Betty White. No, who's <laughs> the, who's Thor? Chris who's Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Who's yeah. he dating? Uh, he's no, married, actually. Elsa Pataki. Or ma- I think yeah, he's married. Is. His brother's married to Miley Cyrus. Okay, no, he's, we are he's not talking Elsa about Pataki. the same person. She was the. Uh, who's the water guy in the? Uh, who's water? Oh, Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah. I'd Kevin Costner. He can get it. Yeah, Jason. Oh, oh, Jason Momoa. Yeah, he's, he's Momoa. Good yeah, yeah. Oh shit! So he's Ken. married to Lisa Bonet. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a terrible he can, actor, by the way. Yes, but he can. His, but he can he get, get it. it. I get it. Even my wife is just like, "Yo, I fuck Jason Momoa." Like, I get it. And I was just like, Ugh. "There's this video of him on the uh, on the internet, and he's at some bar. Yeah. Turns around, picks up an axe, throws it, hits a bullseye, and turns around and drinks his beer. And I swear, I, I came in my pants as soon as I saw. Oh, uh, I, I, dude, I get it, <laughs> it too. Crazy. Like, I because we watched some of his shit. And she was like, "Yo, Jason Momoa can get it," and I was like, "Really?" 
what the fuck? We had a mutual friend who's friends with him, and I was like, I, but I hadn't seen his shit. And then one of his movies came on, and I was like, ah, god damn it. That guy's probably just murdering pussy. Because Lisa Bonet, fine. that's a hard bitch that's to a get. Hard, like, yes. Everyone loves Lisa Bonet. It's kind of like Paula Patton. Uh, what's his nuts? Blurred Lines. Blurred oh, Lines. Yeah. It's his ex wife. They just got divorced. Like, everybody loves bitch. Paula Patton. She translates, same as like Halle Berry, where you're just like, God damn it, man. Like, Halle Berry just keeps getting younger for some reason. She's fine. She's like 50. She's 50 years old. You she know still who's real high. fine? Who's Eddie Murphy's? Oh, ex wife. Yeah, N- Nicole. Yeah, dude. <sighs> Bro, I, I get it. I, I get it. I, him, though, he had his, his own. He's problems, nasty. Up he's nasty. Like yeah, he's that, fucking nasty. Have you fucked him? No, but he's fucking nasty. You know some other shit about him? I just know the tranny shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, do you, but like, don't, don't double dip. If you're gonna do that, do that. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. What about Kevin Hart? You find Kevin Hart sexy? No, he's too little for me. Too small, huh? Way too small. What if he's Damn. got a hammer on him, though? I don't give a fuck. If you have to stand on a stool to fuck me, it's not happening. He's funny, though, dude. And he's I don't a great care. dude. Man. Funny does not get this pussy wet. <laughs> it does not. What does? Is it the wallet or is it the, hey, the looks of the guy? Like, he's got to be. Like, I picture you with an, an Idris Elba. Like, that motherfucker, he looks like, yo. I'll, t- I'll, I'll take care of business, baby. I don't know. I just, oof, I don't know. A lot of things keep me wet. What do you mean? I'm so young. I'm 23. I know. So who's your jam these days? No, it's not a certain guy. It's just like what they do. Okay. Like, I like a lot of foreplay. And I feel like we skip that a lot now. Or I just suck dick and we go straight into it. Like, they never pay attention to me. Right. So, like, what's Ugh. your dream date? You guys go out to Olive Garden? Uh, what I'm, Olive I'm Garden? I'm totally kidding. You're a Mastro's girl through and through. Anybody from LA knows you got to take I this. like Olive Garden though, but. So do I. Yeah, we're all white trash. But Olive here, Garden's after you've been white. dating for a while. Like, Mastro's is like a first date. Like, let's impress them. I got to take this girl. Because let, let's face it, you just don't get somebody like you off an, an Olive Garden or a Cheesecake Factory. Like, it's got to be a big boy dinner. Well, I appreciate the date because I don't ever go on dates. I haven't been, on, I don't think I've ever been on a date. Or it's been a long. I don't know. Really? I don't think I've ever been on a date. What do you guys typically do? You just, you just go straight to fucking? Yes. It's usually planned out. We, I'm very on it. I have, like, for instance, this is why they knew that it wasn't me and it was the guy. I did someone else texting them. Like, I'm talking about the, the top five athlete that was doing this. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't, I'm not out here texting guys. I'm not here like, hey, baby, what do you, no. I'm like, so where are we fucking at? Do you know how much you have to pay me? Right. Like, I'm all about the deeds, and then it's over. And is that just you or somebody else is doing those transactions for me. you? Me. Oh, it is? Yes. Boss-ass bitch. Yes. Yeah. But I feel like, other than that, like, I haven't, and we don't go on f- no dates, but I don't think I've ever been on a date. That's so fucked up. I don't care, though, but, like, or right now I don't, but I don't think I've ever been on a date. Look, uh, but let's say somebody wants to go take you to see, I don't know, fucking Tron 3D, and then, you know, just cruise <laughs> on down to you know like Popeyes or something like that and they're like hey I could do it I'm down then we're gonna fuck afterwards like that's pretty dope right maybe go to Pinkberry I mean that's a little cheap though if that like where did I meet this it guy is. all right so l- l- we'll go higher end restaurant all right we'll go uh, KFC I'm not kidding. even <laughs> not even restaurant wise I just want to do something fun like take me to Top Six Golf flags. or something like Top take, Golf there we just go just take me to have fun I don't want to watch a movie or go eat dinner I want to go do something to have fun like let's go on a hike let's go swimming let's let's go bike riding let's go you gotta bowling you to go blow some shit up we can blow some shit up that's cool you like guns I know a little bit about guns I just you know I'm technically not supposed to be around them so I don't like to talk about them a lot because I don't want to get in trouble Oh, oh, because you... I have a felony. Uh, jail, yeah. And I'm on you're, probation. You're I'll put it this way. So Dan's trying to convince me to move to San Antonio. Uh, last time I was there, it was like, What's, what, what are we doing in this city? It took me to Top Golf. And that was a nice thing, D'Anthony. You're welcome. Just two straight men fun. playing golf. I, yeah, we, did, we did have a good time. I go to Top Golf all the time. Yeah, the food it's was amazing. good. Yeah. We, we had a, a copious amounts of drinks. And it was yeah. just like, oh, all right, great. Thanks, man. Just two white, straight males, <laughs> not broke backing That's at all. That's kind of weird, though. Just you two? No, no, there, there was a, a few, a yeah, handful of other crowd, people there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I felt like it was just us two. Because some people just don't play golf, you know, and they're just like, oh, I'll just watch. And when we lock eyes from across the room, it's like, yeah, we're not else. watchers, we're doers. You know what I'm saying? Like, we both put two hands on the club, grab it as forcefully as we can, then drive it right off the rough, you know? Like, okay. And it's, it's super straight. The whole thing is very, very straight. <laughs> if anybody ever says, 
something is super straight, it's very gay. gay. No, but it's super straight. And I, when I put the second condom on, I knew it was super straight, and everything we were doing was going super straight. <laughs> okay. Uh, wh- wh- one dude in this world, like celebrity wise, who would be your end all be all dream guy? <laughs> Not a celebrity. Really? Who is it? I wouldn't even say. I don't know who it is, but I don't. End all, whatever you said. Yeah. It's not going to be anyone famous. Just based on this conversation, it's some kind of white collar professional who goes to Top Golf. Yeah. No, he doesn't Basically. have to go to Top Golf. He's a, he's a branch manager, Bank of America. He could be. I swear to God. I know. I see that for you, actually. Would you ever be the Bachelorette? What is? What's that? On TV, the the ABC show. Yeah, I would totally. Yeah. I want a dating show so bad. You'd be dope as fuck at that. I would. Man, why don't you submit for that? Like, they're always looking for submissions. Well, my friend Brittany Renner tried to do that, and they, I think she, like, her and her agent went and talked about it, and they, if they didn't pick up her, I don't think that they would pick up me either. Give it a Brittany go. Brittany Renner's the shit, by the way. Do you know yeah. who that is? Who? Brittany Renner? No. She's, oh, man, there's a video, I can't remember how it goes, but you would definitely recognize it because it was big as fuck. But she's got, like, what, six million followers or some shit? Pretty much. Yeah, she's huge. Let me ask you this. With the way porn is going, with like Pornhub and everybody's monetizing, is that a direction you're going into? I have no fucking idea where I'm going. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. But I think I'm going more mainstream, sort of. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, think if you're so. fucking Kevin Durant, I'm kidding. Who is it? Who oh. is it? I'm dying to know. Top five highest paid NBA players. <laughs> and it's not, it can't be LeBron. I don't know who it is. No, it can't be LeBron. That's too that's too public. Like his shit's unlocked. There's too many fucking people around. Can't be LeBron, right? I don't know who it is. Me neither. <laughs> it's not LeBron. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not LeBron. LeBron. It's not LeBron. Okay, good. That's all I wanted to know. Like I just wanted a nice Do you confirmation like of knowing it's not LeBron. LeBron. I could care like I said, I could care less about these athletes. I swear to God. You I'm... and Steph Curry would make a great baby. Why? Two of you pretty little motherfuckers out there making babies. Man. I'd buy that baby. Not that you can, but I would buy that no, baby. No, you can. I, I've got I've got the hook. <laughs> That's true. He does. He does. Uh, man, who's it gonna be? Cause you you've got that like the 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 sister from Fresh Prince of Bel Air look. Like Oh my Hillary. god, I've heard that so many times. Hillary, yeah. Man. You, you do got that look a little bit, yeah. Wow. Man, your what? homes to Bel Air. <laughs> like I am in it. I am oh in it. Oh my god, I've heard that so many times. That's Man, so embarrassing. NBA play, the thing about NBA players, not a lot of good looking ones, is there? No. It's crazy, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, you can miss me. And you know what? There's su- it's such a lie. Because I was like, you know, the bigger they are, the bigger the dick. Yeah. So I used to it's chase. It's a lie, right? <gasps> what? I love linemen. I love big old boys. Really? <laughs> Country boys. Not, I don't even need you fit. I like you big and Yeah, boy. yeah, yeah. Sweating. Yes. Like you're in a crawfish boil. Love it. Yeah, like it's hot in here. It's a little spicy. Those are the smallest penises on planet Earth. It's crazy, right? A, a friend of my, uh, I shouldn't say this, man. This is terrible. Well, you, fu- you said a lot of shit, so I won't say it. A friend of my fucked Shaq. And she was like, man, his dick was small. And I was like, but everyone knows that. I didn't know that. And I was like, is it, is it, but here was my point. I said, hey, is it because Shaq is 7'3 and you were expecting like a, a two foot dong? No. I know it was so little. How, what, what are we talking? God took time on everything else but that. We're prob. I mean, I have Four to six? I, I really want to say like, l- listen. Some have you of fucked Shaq? No, but some of them are, are so small that you have to literally hold the shaft, hold the condom on while you fucking fuck him because it's going to fall off and be inside you. Like, it's, it's no so little. No way. Put the mic oh, up. Oh, sorry. No, so no, little. no, it's fine. So, I, I'm sorry. Describe that one more time. You got to put the... Okay, like you literally, so you put the condom on, but you have to like hold it on the shaft right. while you like ride it or really any position because the shit will fall off so fast. No you way. Need to, oh, I've, I've had so many experiences. <laughs> what's what's the worst you've had where you're just like, dude, this is the tiniest dig I've ever seen in my life. It wasn't even necessarily tiny. That has nothing to do with size. It had to do with smegma. Like he didn't, it was a really na- oh. fat dude. Hi and he and I man. is that a real thing? Smegma is a real thing? Oh my God, is it? Does it and stink? It, so bad and it's i've only seen it in older men that are usually overweight that like you know their bellies are so big they can't really like see what's going on there was this one guy okay listen so i used to hoe back in the day on arrows yeah so one i had two two different ads up one is tiana trump one is britney i had seen this guy under britney Uh never wanted to see him again and i knew i didn't want to see him again 
he had booked me on her fucking Tiana. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. I, I didn't know it was him. Was the money good? No. Can't you, can't you just turn that down? I could turn it down, but I was already in the room and I, you know, I'd already seen him because uh, he was opening the door to me. Yeah, it was yeah, a yeah, yeah. out call or whatever you want to call it. Sure. Ew. Like, so you roll the back of his penis, like he's pulled this because he's not circumcised, I guess. That's oh, he's uncertain. Yeah. So, like, you pull it back and it's this thick, like, it's. Ooh, it's like melted. I want to say melted feta is what I would describe ah. it as. It smells really bad, but it's like so fondue. Really, I really wish yeah, Jared like Taylor fondue. was here right now. Like the it, yeah, like queso with the melting pot. If Jared yeah. Taylor was here right now, he would be right there and be vomiting into that floor. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. It's yeah. real hard to get off too. Like I remember, I was like, I'm gonna go get a rag real quick. So I'm putting condom on regardless, but like I can't. When you put the condom, on, it's like 3D. Like you can see everything. I'm like, I can't look yeah. at that while I suck it. So I'm gonna get that off. And when I, when I was trying to get it off, it was so hard. Like it was like stuck. The I almost felt like no, the smegma. I almost felt like I was like scratching him to oh, get it off. Oh God! Damn That's how it. long I felt like it had been on there. It was no nasty. Way. Yeah, it was real nasty. Jesus Christ! What do you do after a night like that? Like, do you go home and be like, "Yo, I'm gonna cook some mac and cheese. Something's gonna stink up the place. I gotta get this scent out of my my mouth and and face." Because that's mean, I whatever shower, I smell, something disgusting. I like to just throw some garlic in a pan, let it sear, and let it yeah. go through or the house. Or you could put uh, vanilla on tin foil, just throw it in the oven. Yeah, whole house smells like cookies. Or I'll, I'll, I'll put vanilla sky on, throw myself off the roof of my house. Like, <laughs> god damn it! If I saw some shit like that, I would lose my tits. But you're kind of already stuck there, so you can't leave. Oh yeah, you no, can. you can't leave. No, you can though. Yeah, you cannot leave. Yeah, you can walk the, right the yeah, fuck out of here. Yeah, you can't say, hey, I'm sorry. You're super disgusting. I get the fuck out of here. No, you cannot say that. Why? Because first of all, we're doing illegal shit anyways, and it's just, like, I just don't even want to go there. So what, what, let me ask well, you. That's what I'm saying. What's he going to do? Call the cops? Yeah, what's he going to do? I was trying to commit a crime, and this woman wouldn't help I don't me. know. I I'm, I'm just don't want to know. And when you hoe, was somebody else pimping you out? There was a guy that would book it. He wasn't pimping me out. It was an Asian dude. And Did I would, he have a, he's an Asian dude? Yeah, I would beat his ass. Did he? Oh, shit the fuck up. Why would you work for somebody like that? Do you have an abacus? What was he counting shit on? He was just screening them. <laughs> he was he was always screening the clientele. Yeah, so I wouldn't get a cop. <laughs> oh, I get you. Yeah. yeah. So that's all I needed him for. How big was he? What do you mean? Uh, like tall. Was he 5'2"? Oh. He was little. Yeah, he was little. He's an Asian guy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably always looked like he was high, too. And he was just squinting at you the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And he probably was fucked up because his teeth were rotten. Oh, God damn it. How do those people get beautiful women to fucking hoe for them? Money, excuse me. Mine was through another porn star. I met him get through another porn microphone. star. So I don't know. I mean, maybe if the money's right. I don't know. The money damn. was good. but it was, money was yeah, good. It was on some, in a way, like low ball. You ever have to suck the Asian dude's dick? No, never. All right. All right. I'm, look, I'm double checking. I want to know these things. Never. Honestly, for later in life, I don't know where life's a journey. I don't know where it's going to take me. Tom, Tom Cochran said life is a highway. Like, I don't know where this highway is going to take me. But if I have to hoe eventually, I want to know that I can have fucked up teeth, maybe an Asian partner, and get shit accomplished. You can sex sells. You can do anything, and God someone's going right to like it. Can. I can sell my dick. How much do you think my dick's worth? Well, I've never seen it. I mean, look, I can't. Obviously, this is on YouTube. We're a family friendly thing. I can't, I can't pull it out here, but you know, I look. I'd say it's an ocho. You speak Spanish? No. Yeah, it means eight in Spanish, but um, I'd say I'm slanging an ocho, and that's like I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy where it's like I got to get a fishing rod to pull it back in, but it's an ocho, or it's just like all right, that's a solid eight. That's a solid eight. That's good. Yeah. Like, but I don't about think the that's size porn. Of this mic. It's not porn. You're right. I it's mean, not. I'm saying that's good. Don't get it twisted. Like, I'm not like, oh my god, that's so small. No, no, I don't at think all. it's small at all. Not, but not, not at all. I think f you would not probably be able to do porn. No, I, I don't think, I, I don't think I could eat. Like, and that was the thing. And you have to be honest with yourself if you can do porn or what you can do in this life. Right? Yeah, literally. I, I got, I got 110 scholarships to play football out of high school, but I wasn't good enough to be an NFL player. So I didn't give a fuck after that. I was like, eh, I'm not good enough to go pro. Same with my dick. I think it's a great dick. I think it's a fine dick. I think everybody who has seen my dick in my life has been like, congratulations, Ross. I feel great for you and your dick, but you're not a professional. Like, you are not going pro porn at any point in your life. Because first of all, pro porn, how long can you fuck without nutting? Oh, that I'm great at. Because it's all mental at that point. Like, you think? The Even if gains? the pussy and the head and everything's like... yeah. 
crazy. There's, I've I've gone through this like yes, because you know like it's because you guys I, are older. No, it's not. I date super hot chicks because the He's hottest weird. chicks are the craziest, and that's what I'm into apparently. Yes. Uh, so and they're all like cocky, like you, obviously, because you got to be. You have to be. Hot. Not only that, I, hey Dan. We've had a lot of people on this program. She's cocky for a reason, and I get it. Oh, no. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm, I, I agree that you should be. What I'm saying is I'll, I, I take that challenge. Like She's like but, Highlights Magazine. I, I would fucking subscribe to this. Like, <laughs> you I guys would. are saying bad bitches are the freakiest? No, they are not. They're no, no, not. no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm saying crazy, crazy. bitches are the freakiest. Oh. Dan likes crazy like hold a butcher knife to your throat crazy. like. And they fuck the best. Oh, yeah. To Dan, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's, they... Like element of danger. You want to be alpha fucked, obviously. No, 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 nothing like that. But I'm not opposed to that. I'm just saying they don't have boundaries sexually at all. They're fucking crazy as yep. shit. Like there's all this, and it's not about like uh, even being sex positive. It's I think there's some level of insecurity that drives it. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, yeah. So it's just like fucking. It's like a, a Labrador. It's like please, please, please. They want to please you so much, which is great. Yeah, it is. But then you have to like go to work the next day. Yeah, you got to put your hard hat on, go back to that coal mine, put that parrot on your shoulder, and get ready because I don't know what's gonna happen once I go down that fucking tunnel. You know, yeah. Parrot dies, I could die. Like you never know that. You never yeah, know. They're that. trying to burn your fucking house down. Yeah, well, that's, look, that's I next level. I disagree, though. I think ugly bitches, not crazy bitches. Like I feel like, honestly, white bitches fuck the best. Really? So is that why every black guy wants to get famous goes for white girls? I don't know. I'm just saying based on I've like had plenty of orgy sex, been everywhere, fucked so many people around so many people, and I just like the white bitches with the craziest, freakiest, doing wild ass shit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. And that's like like I don't know if it was good, but it looked good as fuck. I look, I, I understand it like I mean there's some I it depends on what you're into though, like you know what I'm saying? Like, there's big naturals. There's, you know, other types of shit, like pregnant porn. We had a, we had a real close friend who was in a pregnant porn. We had to get him out of the fucking circle. Um, Ew, that's nasty. Yeah, I mean, because he was, like, third trimester. Like, I want to fucking deliver the baby right afterwards. And you were just My like, ex, the one I took the charge, the he did that. And he would tell me it would be creamy. Like, they'd be just real creamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want that. Like, I mean, I, at one point, my buddy, because I asked him, I was like, yo, how fucking deep are you into this shit? And he goes... I want him to crown right afterwards. And I was like, what? He goes, I want to see the top of the head. I want to see the top he of the head. He mushroom stamped the head. That's weird. And he goes, dude, I want to guess what sex it is like afterwards. That's like, weird. I, like they no, are it's, fucking It's crowning. a gender reveal party right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's like, I don't want to see pink or blue. He goes, I want to see it from the top of the head. He turned him on to fuck him? That's what he did. That was his jam, man. And oh, we had to get him shit. out of the circle. Because it was just like, hey, that's too <laughs> close, man. You're real close to the fucking edge at that point. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's an interesting person, though. I, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, I'm not friends with him anymore. So, you know, RIP. Uh, like, that relationship's <laughs> gone. It is what it is, man. He's still driving a Honda Civic. I know that. I catch him on Facebook here and there. He and he's still in that Civic. Like, yo, man, how's, how's your sister? She's still pregnant? And it's like, fucking A, bro. Like, I know what that is. Like, you're not ready to wish her congratulations. You're ready to help her birth that baby That's out into the world as fuck. <laughs> no, what the fuck <laughs> ew uh tiana this has been a fucking unbelievable pleasure tonight yeah it has you're hilarious dude am i yeah you're rad you're rad as fuck Thanks. i can't wait to see where life takes you in your whole career me too because usually look look we've had some porn stars on the show before some of them have been good yeah. some of them have been fucking terrible um you're one you're rad like you're one of the best and I don't, I don't even care if it is, you know, James Harden that you're fucking. Like, <laughs> I gotta know who that NBA player is. I gotta, she was in I'm dying to know. She was in jail in Oklahoma City. It's got to be like Katie or Westbrook, right? Westbrook. Uh, who else is there? Paul George. Paul, Paul George was. Paul in George there is there. Well, he's been there for a year and a half. Now. Yeah. Oh, you you gave me big eyes on Paul no, George. No, I didn't. I'm you not. Did. I'm literally saying the same, and I and I'm focusing on saying the Paul same. Paul George signed a max contract. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen is. So, I'm gonna go watch this video after. Yeah, and play it slow mo. <laughs> yeah, and there will be micro expressions. I'll, I'll I will know as soon as this fucking. Paul, and we'll over. rewind it. Paul George. She be like, Whoa. <laughs> it's probably Paul George. People dilate. Yeah, was it, it Westbrook? Paul George. <clears throat> no. I bet you Westbrook would, would be a good. He's fine as fuck. I know. I like him because of his attitude. I like, same, same. I, I like, like that would be a. 
A good one. My favorite thing about him is he had like threatened him. to beat some lady's ass in the crowd. Hell yeah, day. and he meant it. And I, yeah. uh, oh, I seen that. That was, that was so sexy. Funny. Yeah, so it was. Because truthfully, that that couple fucking deserved it. Fuck them. <laughs> so I get it. Yeah, they got banned for life. Well, I the get man, it. the man did. I don't know about the woman. Was it Kaepernick? Did he ask you to kneel for him? I'm kidding. He's a football player. I, I don't know. know if he asked you to kneel for him, and he was just like, "Hey, I need somebody to kneel for me because I can't. I'm tired of doing this shit myself." No, it wasn't Kaepernick. No. Who was this? Who was this man? You'll never know. We'll never know. I tell you what. Go you to might G- one day, like I said, if he keeps trying me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. And I'm going to unload on him. I swear to God. I, Dave, where, where can any, any, everybody submit uh, this this name for, for who it might be? Drinkabros.com? Drinkabros.com. Go there. Tiana Trump, dude, one of the best guests we've ever had. We love it. We love Thanks. it. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, um, anybody out there, by the way, who's, who's, who's a, a young lady between the ages of 22 to 27 looking to kill a grown man, uh, submit that to drinkabros.com as well. You could have the chance to kill Dan <laughs> in his sleep after a sexual transgression. Tiana, transgression I, we appreciate is you being not here. the right word. Ah, you, you want to fuck a crazy girl. That's what it is. <laughs> we love you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.